ICF is a not-for-profit organisation um, run by members, four members. So as I said, there's 27,000 members worldwide in about 120 countries, if we have that many in the world, but it's 120. And um, as I said, run for members. And we have 10 branches in Australasia, seven in Australia, three in New Zealand. And they're very active in providing professional development for coaches. Well, it seemed that we align um, from a personal point of view that people who are coaches also are involved in people in HR and it just made sense that um, the purchasers of coaching would like to know more about coaching and make sure that they engage the right sort of coach for their business and that's where ICF coaching is different because we go through rigorous training, we, um, we have a, a credentialing uh, process where people, the more hours they get, the more experience obviously they can become and uh, more training. So it's a rigorous training that sets us apart. So it goes hand in hand with getting the best. I've loved the summit so far. I came with a very open mind I'm not an HR person, I've been involved in HR functions, but I'm not an HR person and I've learned so much. I've met so many brilliant people just networking um, and it's also given me an insight of how people use different tools in order to um, support their employees. So it could be coaching, it could be mentoring, it could be learning and development. So there's a whole range of things that I've learned. Speakers have been brilliant and varied. So I think the value has been excellent in a sense it's enabled me to come to network to find out more information and also to show our members that we can align with excellence like this event, Marco Evans HR Summit and to spread the word. One of our strategies is to be loud and proud about being an ICF coach and, and just doing this um, arrangement has helped us to do that with our members and of course with the broader base of people who are outside our membership. I think it's a very good way of um, managing a situation, especially for not-for-profits where we may not have the um, ability to spend members' money on sponsorship but it's a good opportunity to align yourself, as I said before, with what's good within the marketplace and to, to be able to showcase your own business or not-for-profit business in that sense. So I would encourage people to do it. I found it, um, the whole arrangement being excellent, um, you know, how the contract was managed, um, how open Marcus Evans was to changes and what we could and couldn't do was very clear. So I would encourage people to take advantage of it. I think it's a win-win situation.